nigga X about me, nigga X about me, nigga X about me, nigga X about me. I'm a hustler, I'm a, I'm a hustler, homie. I'm a hustler, I'm a, I'm a hustler, homie. Nigga X, nigga, nigga X about me, nigga X, nigga, nigga X about me. I'm a hustler. This for all my niggas that's going through the struggle that's on the ground. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to everybody. This is your boy Heist International, a.k.a. Man, fuck that shit, a.k.a. The Consultant. I like to talk about a lot of things, things I don't know nothing about, things I know something about. And today, what I'm bringing to you guys is a little, I don't know what I want to call it, segment, broadcast, podcast, whatever, but it will be part of my Hustlers Academy uh, platform. And, it, and what it's called is Mind Your Business. Just having to do with business since we're talking business, and that's what we will be talking from a hustler's perspective. Simple as that. And today, what I'm, I'm gonna be uh, uh, bringing to you guys is the this outcome of a judge um, in Roscoe's house of, of chicken and waffles. So it says the judge outs uh, House of Chicken and Waffles president. That's the title. Okay. It says the president of Los Angeles fame, Roscoe House of Chicken and Waffles, has been ousted by a federal judge who said that she doesn't trust him to run its four bankrupt restaurants in accordance with the law. U.S. Bankruptcy Court Judge Sherry Bluebond said Wednesday that under the management of President Herbert Hudson, who also founded the chain, Roscoe's lost 3.2 million employee discrimination lawsuit faced immigration sanctions, underpaid state taxes, and kept in formal accounting system with missing records. Judge Bubon said that Mr. Hudson also inappropriately transferred money from Roscoe's operation to his other businesses, returning it only after a court file report revealed the transfers to the court. Roscoe's bankruptcy lawyer, they kind of are didn't respond to requests for comment on the judge's decision to put new management in charge. At Wednesday's hearing, he argued that the bankruptcy restaurants are profitable, making more than $200,000 a month. God damn. Refusing the needs for outside leaders. $200 a month. Huh? Judge Bluebond rejected that argument by saying, no one's saying this business isn't making any money, but he's not worried about his creditors. He's worried about his own interests, Judge Bubon said to Mr. Hudson, a Harlem native who founded the business in 1975. Once the creditors are paid off, he can have his baby back. Damn, so shit, they just took, wait, hold on. So they just took this dude business from him. <laughs> They're gonna make him pay them people back. Yeah, you thought you owned your business. Hey, you better mind your business, man. This is sick. The judge took his business from him. And gonna put somebody else in charge of it till he pay his people back. For, uh, continuing on, four Roscoe's location filed for Chapter 11 protection under bankruptcy court in Los Angeles in March after losing a lawsuit with a former employee who said he was a target of racial discrimination and sexual harassment. Hold on, did I say he was? Yeah, he was a target of racial discrimination and sexual harassment. harassment. A judge ordered the restaurant chain owner to pay about $3.2 million to former Roscoe's worker Daniel Beasley, a black employee who filed a discrimination and wrongful termination lawsuit against the chain in 2013. Mr. Beasley said that black employees at Roscoe's, a black owned business, were treated worse than Hispanic employees working later shifts and getting fewer scheduled requests, according to Mr. Beasley, uh, Beasley's lawyer. So damn, it is a, a black dude who sued another black-owned company for discrimination. I ain't never heard of this one. This is a good game. Pay attention. God damn. All right. No surprise, though, because I understand. I can pretty much, I think, anyway, I could put, put together how that happened. Mr. Hudson hasn't changed the menu much since opening Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles, whose restaurants have long been popular with celebrities like Larry King's new dog president, Obama. Suck it. Excuse me. Uh, the Roscoe's change has grown to seven locations. Three locations are owned by Mr. Hudson through a separate company 
that isn't in bankruptcy game. Uh, before the bankruptcy filing, company officials had discussed expanding national. Something about that, 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 that last paragraph caught me. I'm going to point it out. I did it. I don't know if it means anything to anybody. But it says that the Roscoe's chain has grown to seven locations. Here's what I'm tripping on. Three locations are owned by Mr. Hudson through a separate company. A separate company that isn't in bankruptcy. A separate company. So basically, he's he running chains under a separate company, but it's the same thing. He should have ran each location under a separate company, had each location separately uh, incorporated. That probably, I don't know this, but that probably would have limited his damages for that worker, unless he was working at more than one location. But the guy that sued him, uh, the dude who sued him, uh, I think his name Hudson, I'm lost. Uh, probably couldn't have sued him beyond one location if that's where he was working at. But, you know, I don't know. That's what I think. That's a, that's a strategic move when you own separate businesses, even if it's just a case of real estate or a case of something like this. I would always have each location a home business. Simple as that. I don't know. Somebody else may know better. All right, after the hearing, Justice Department officials have the power to select outside managers proposed to put California financial advisor Bradley Sharp in charge. Let me read that again. After the hearing, Justice Department officials who have the power to select outside managers proposed to put California financial advisor Bradley Sharp in charge. Judge Blue Bond has not approved that request yet. Uh, yeah, she will. Mr. Hudson's removal came after a financial expert submitted a 20-page report that said the chain's operation do not conform to reasonable accounting norms or any semblance of responsible management. Mind your business, people. <laughs> Mind your business, your business, because if they come, they're going to dig deep, and they're going to they gonna get you. So make sure you mind your business, man. That's for the paperwork, right? California accountant Christopher R. Barclay, a court-appointed examiner hired to review its financial accounting practices, said Mr. Hudson has run its operation with a management by intuition style. Who all does that? It's a correction, Mr. Hudson, Mr. Owen. Um, yeah, off intuition. Don't run your business off intuition. That don't work. Uh, he called Mr. Hudson a master of disguise obsessed with preventing outside scrutiny to his financial affairs shit. Yeah, I'm like that too. I don't want nobody outside my shit. Why would I? Anyway, Roscoe's official recently Roscoe's official recently said that the chain has figured out a way to pay off all its debt on September 15th. They proposed a repayment plan that would allow the chain to pay off roughly six million by making 64,000 monthly payments over the next eight years. God damn. So it cost them 64,000 a month over eight years. Can you imagine the type of investment you could make with that? With just expanding a business? I do business, people. Got a mind to your business. Mind your business. Give your business some attention. All right, closing out. In a response to that proposal, Judge Bubon said that the change poor account records wouldn't produce reliable financial projections to convince her that the payment plan would work. Federal law requires the leaders of a bankrupt company to prove that their repayment plan is feasible to a judge. You hear that? This is game. Just in case y'all end up here one day. Hopefully not. But you got to make sure that the repayment plan is feasible to a judge. So it's at a judge's discretion. It's not your company no more. Son. It's the judge company. Um, we need to know that the business will be able to operate and make the plan payments, the judge said. And that's closing out. And that's uh, a story by Katie Stetch. I think I'm reading that right out of the Wall Street Journal. Uh, this Heights International, a.k.a. Man, fuck that shit, a.k.a. The Consultant. Hit me up, let me know what you think. This is my first one. I know I probably fumbled a lot, but I'm going to get it going to see what's happening. Also, uh, hit me up on Facebook, uh, Manfa, M-A-N-F-A. Um, you'll find me. 
Also, you can hit me up on my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Peace out, y'all.